quick little update, man. We about to run up the street real quick and show y'all and tell y'all how much money I got invested into Blue Ivy, y'all. I know I did a, vi a video a while back and how much money did it cost me to build my turbo kit. It seems like everybody was interested in that, so I figured I'd drop a video and let everybody know how much money I got invested into the car. So. We done made it to where I was gonna show y'all the car. I wanted to get it outside in some light where y'all can most definitely see the car. So let's start off by saying how much I paid for the car, y'all. I paid 12K for Blue Ivy. The only thing that was done to it when I got the car it was wheels, steering wheel, digi dash and Tierra Grill, 12K. And I kind of totaled that up myself. I'm pretty sure these Rucci wheels with the steering wheel, these things go, what, probably for 5,500, 6K. We just gonna say 5,500, including the steering wheel. So 890 for Digi, Dakota Dash, probably 900, $1,000 for the Tierra Grill. What are we looking at? Y'all keep the calculator on y'all. I'm just doing this shit off the, off the brain. So when I give y'all these numbers, y'all make sure y'all remember them. So we looking at probably about seven, $200 just an accessory so you subtract all that i probably pretty much paid four thousand probably forty seven hundred dollars for the car so since the car came with the wheels the tear grill we ain't gonna even add that on to what i paid for the car so that that would just add that on the end but everything i done to the car we're gonna tell that up so let's start on the outside man three thousand dollars for the four nine inch Y'all know we got up under there. $600 for the upgraded uh, dry shaft for the car. $200, I want to say, for the lower control arms. I got uppers too, the tubular upper control arms. I don't know if y'all can even see them. But those, those probably was like 180 um uh, actually we'll, since we're all in the back we'll do that six hundred dollars for the the coilovers i know a, a lot of people ask me about my gas tank on this car um well they they 200 factory but to get it like how i got it with the sump and all that y'all looking at four hundred dollars that's all that's labor included too so that's four hundred dollars for the gas tank my fuel pump, that was $500, that's a Holly fuel pump. My, my filters was 100, 110 just for the filters. And I got two of those, so that's like $700. Y'all, that's just like 700 bucks just on fuel filter and the, and the fuel pump. And I wrote some of this stuff down too, so check this out, y'all. This is, this is another thing y'all will keep in mind when y'all trying to build these uh these fast cars so check this out these fittings these an fittings that go on here they go in the middle they go on here they go on the end they, they run all they run all the way up to make sure we got some good lighting they run all the way up to to the engine i probably got like three hundred dollars just in those fittings, them little AN fittings, y'all. They can be cheaper and they can be way expensive. Those fittings cost anywhere from like 15 to 20 dollars, even more. You can get them cheaper by seeing cheap ones that that leak and crack. So y'all make sure y'all want to get like some quality AN fittings, cause them things cost. I got like at least it's 300 dollars just in just in those fittings and the fuel line. I got big old braided fuel line from the back all the way up to the front. Let me check. Let me look in here and make sure. Yeah, I probably got like $110 just in fuel line. 
These, y'all already know, man. I got these for the low. And actually, and when I paid for the car too, it came with the Euro clip too, y'all. So when I paid 12K for the car, it came with the front Euro, Euro clip, the newer uh, mirrors on the side, and in the back Euro clip too. All right, so I'm hoping y'all keeping tabs. Everything that we adding up, we got the wheel wood up front. Those is 400 with the cross and drill uh, rotors. And them bad boys, they ain't cost that much. Some things probably was only, it's probably only about a hundred. A hundred for those. And that, that pretty much does it for the outside of the car. Y'all already know I haven't painted the car, haven't done nothing to the outside yet. The car was already blue when I got it. And that was my goal, y'all. When I was looking for old school, I didn't want to build something all the way from the ground up. I want to build something that was already halfway done. And I just throw my touch on it. I really wasn't trying to build it for too long. I know I'm real, real picky. So that was the reason me buying a car that already had some wheels on it because I already wanted something halfway decent when I got the car. So I think I got a pretty good deal on the car, man. Uh, only rust the thing had was in the floors. And I'm pretty sure that's real common on these two-door Landau's. Uh, but we got all that cut out. And other than that, it's been a solid car, man. For real, for real. So... That clears up everything with the outside, man. It's all up. With it, even the studs too. I upgraded these with the uh, the nine inch on this car, and that was like probably like an extra, I think, a hundred just for those. And this rear end was custom cut for this car too. Like you, you have to really, you, you have to tell them, you know what I'm saying, for the specs. So let's go to the inside. I got the inside. of the car yeah. get back I got the inside of the car redone um, I paid 1400 bucks to get the two front seats done this is diamond stitch with the double I guess you call it a double piping or whatever got the the front seats did the back seats did he completely remade both front door panels and he redid my back door panels on the car too. Yeah. So fourteen hundred bucks to get to get all that done. Spray where he redid my dash. I don't even know if I even want to put that price out there. You know what I'm saying? Goes a player price. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want y'all stuff done, y'all call it my boy Sprayway. Y'all already know who he is. Big juice out here. But uh, he did he did the dash for me. I sprayed the uh I sprayed the rest of the stuff. You know what I'm saying? I got some paint to match all that, so I, I resprayed all that. The shifter, $379 with the brackets, the shifter cable, all of that. Uh the carpet. Uh I think this carpet was two seventy some. But it was the carpet that's double plush, so you get the real thick. Get back, Bricks. It was a double plush carpet stuff for the sound deadening. And under this, I did um, the, sound mat, the sound mat deadening. I probably spent like, I don't know, $100 in the sound deadening. Because I did it in the trunk too. So I most definitely want this car to ride quiet. I did the sound deadening back here as well. So when I do eventually get the trunk done, it'll be quiet. So that probably was like a hundred dollars. And this stuff is this fat mat, and this is is pretty reasonable price stuff. That's what I use. I know a lot of people saying that you can smell it, like you can smell the glue or whatever. But I can't I can't smell the glue in the car or nothing. So I don't think I smell it. it's E85 and horsepower. So. That's what we're looking at on the inside. Um, my wild harness for the car is the Terminator X. And the Terminator X costs uh, like a thousand, eleven hundred sometime. 
Cause I know that they run deals sometimes, but it's like a thousand bucks for the uh, or the wire harness on the car. And I think that pretty much does it for the inside, y'all. I know I got this dash tram too that go all the way to the side. I think that was like a hundred dollars, something like that. For those, um, and we got the Sandman. The Sandman design. The striker and the little breather on the side. I forgot what these even go for. I think these was 80 for the striker. I think these was 100, maybe 120 or something like that for those. So now, I don't even want to get in, in too much of the details yeah. on the motor, but to get my engine bay sprayed I pray I pay buddy 300 to spray the uh the engine bay on the car uh this the wheelwood um Dang, I forgot the name of that, y'all. I'm gonna come back to it. But my, my master cylinder, I think that was 200 bucks for that. Uh, it was $500 for the the Edelbrock intake manifold. Um, the just to get like my turbo kit on here, I paid man like $1,500 total. Like getting the turbo kit. Like with me making it and paying the guy to do some yeah. some welding on it because it was just like 600 bucks for the guy to weld a lot of this a lot of this stuff up front on the car as well just like some of this and some of this and that fifteen hundred dollars includes these wastegates uh, and the blow off valve um, a lot of that good stuff man let me make sure I ain't forgetting nothing too on here but in the trans, y'all know the trans, that was 1500 to get that trans done. You know, and I got the deep pan on there with the fins on there. So that was 1500 to get that, that bad boy upgraded. But we ain't gonna go too much in detail of how much money I put in the motor, you know, because you, you can go whichever route you want to when you're building a motor. You can go get a long block for like, three four thousand dollars from thompson motorsport or you can get go get it uh machined take it to the machine shop get all your pistons and rods and i think they charge i don't know about twelve fifteen hundred dollars machining work you know what i'm saying all depending on who you go to so i'm gonna make sure i ain't forgetting that on here y'all because and y'all gotta remember what i'm about to tell y'all these prices don't even include labor y'all like this just out of my pocket. So imagine the money that people put into these cars and they got paid labor costs. And the radiator, that's out the market. I got that just off of eBay. I think that was like 180. These fans was like 100 bucks a pop. If y'all watched any of my old videos, I had, these are the, the Spell, the Spell fans. I tried to use those cheap eBay fans. My car was overheating like a mug. I thought something was wrong with the engine on here, but um it, it wasn't it was those cheap fans the things weren't even pumping on air so those are 100 bucks a pop on there as well so the total coming out of my pocket y'all not even including uh motor and trans we're looking at just even, even not even the wheels we're looking at just an 11k just uh without including motor and trans and the wheels, Tierra grill, and Digi Dad. So, y'all know if we add the wheels on there, like what we said before, I hope y'all keeping up with the math. What we said about seven two hundred dollars, twenty six inch Rucci wheels, Tierra grill, and Digi Dakota Dash. We're looking at probably about seven two hundred. It's probably more than that, y'all. I'm trying to be nice with the numbers. We are looking at probably what eighteen hundred. So, total investment gain. In this car, probably 2025. Actually, yeah, probably more like $24,000 that I got invested into this car with no labor. 
So imagine me having to take this to the shop. And how much all this will cost. Because labor, you already looking at, but people charging three, three, five thousand dollars just on doing LS squats. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's already five grand just, just trying to do an LS squat in the car, let alone do the turbo kit, building a turbo kit for the car, getting it tuned. That's a whole nother story. Having somebody do the interior for your car, having somebody put the rear end in the car, running the, running the fuel system in there. Putting the flow shift in there, just putting the, putting the brakes. Hey, all, all, all that stuff adds up, y'all. So when people ask for crazy prices on cars, typically, man, they're trying to get all their money back. Not even just their money back, their money from them putting into the car and the labor from shops. The shops charge anywhere from $90 to $100 an hour. So I feel that pain. But people like me, I don't really have to tax people over here. I ain't have to take my car to the shop to get it built. So that's why a lot of my stuff I give up for player prices because I don't got no middleman with a lot of y'all but man a good rough estimate man on Blue Ivy game I'm looking at about 20 25 man K that I got invested in this car man I ain't even did the outside of this thing yet man I ain't even got the outside of this bad boy done so look I ain't just stepping all on my seats man fresh seats man look at that but we went through the whole car, man. As I said, interior is all done from the carpet, yeah, even to the floors. It ain't no, get off of that. It ain't no rust up under there. And we got dyno mat up under there. We got suspension all redid from the rear end to the brakes from the front to the back. Engine bay crispy. You can eat off of it. Engine crispy, transmission crispy. Only thing ain't crispy is this, this paint job in my trunk, y'all. Dang, come on, man. Run these numbers up on this video so your boy can get some sponsors or something so I can get some eyes out here on Blue Ivy, man. But if this video helped y'all out, man, y'all make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up, man. Like I said, this video got 100 views. I need 100 likes. If we get 1,000 views, I need 1,000 likes, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that post notification bell, too. Y'all can be updated on these videos. So we're about to